Hello, I'm Sean Mabley and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Arduino calculator. This calculator can perform the four main operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To build this calculator, you will need an Arduino Mega or an Arduino Duo, and a 3.5 inch touchscreen display. Due to the maximum size of variables, the calculator can only have four numbers and those numbers have a maximum of four digits each. Another constraint is can't be more than 11 characters entered into the calculator. A character includes digits and operations. Now, let's test it out. Let's first start out with some simple addition. We're going to add 26 to 1 to get 27. Moving on to some more complex addition, we're going to add 23 to 6,359 to get 6,382. Both of these equations got the correct answer. Now, moving on to subtraction, we're going to subtract 52 from 653 to get 601. Now, moving to simple multiplication, we're going to multiply 20 by 12 to get 240. And now to the largest equation you can input into the calculator, 999 times 999 times 999 to get about 997 million. Now going to division, we're just going to start with some simple division. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5, which is correct. And moving on to some more complex division, we are going to divide 95 by 6 to get 15.833. Now let's go to the settings. In the settings, you can change the screen color to any of these colors. For this example, I'm going to change it to red, and then when you go back to the calculator page, you can see that it's been changed to red. Back in setting, on the tech page, you can see all the tech specs. In the compatible devices, we have the Arduino Mega and Arduino Duo. The reason the Arduino Uno is not mentioned on there is because the flash memory size right here is too large to be downloaded onto the chip. And also in tech specs, we have the default screen size. Now, let's look at the code. Because of the complexity of the project, I'm only going to give a brief explanation of the code, but as always, the code is available in the description of the video. Here we have our libraries for the touchscreen display and the pinouts for the LCD shield. Going down to the variables, we have number one, number two, number three, and number four, which are in three different variable types, long, float, and string. Long is used for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. The float is used for division. And finally, the string is used for displaying numbers on the LCD. Moving down to the integers, character count is used for determining how many characters have been used. And current number is used for determining which one of the numbers we are currently using. Next, the button color integer is the default button color, which is orange. But can be changed. Moving down to the bools, we have operation press, which determines if an operation is currently being pressed. Next, number one done, number two done, number three done, number four done, and operation one done, operation two done, operation three done. These determine if the number or operation is completed. The rest of the variables are used for displaying numbers on the LCD. Moving to the void setup, we begin the serial monitor and set everything on the TFT. We also do the button setup, which displays all the buttons and sets them to the right color. In the void loop, we have two main if statements. One of the if statements is the calculator user interface, and the other one is the setting user interface. The calculator user interface detects the location you pressed and which button is assigned to the location. The equation display displays the equation on the screen. Then we have a series of if statements which determine when to display the answer. The other statement is for the setting user interface. This determines if you're currently setting up the setting or if you're currently using the settings. Thank you for watching the video. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button below. If you have any ideas for future videos, please put them in the comments below. See you in the next one.